Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here bringing another everyday office video. And in today's video, I want to demonstrate how you could create your own personal icon set using nothing, I mean literally nothing, other than Microsoft PowerPoint. And the benefit of this is that if you have your own set of icons, you can then use them in a variety of different situations for presentations, Word documents, uh, for other types of, of artwork, um, pamphlets, all sorts of different things. And the really great thing here is that if you're building all of these, you can decide exactly the overall aesthetic that these icons are going to have. If you go off to a website, it's very often the case that you'll find different icons for different concepts that are different stylistically. They, they have different thicknesses, different weight, a different feel to them. And it's actually not that difficult to create a set of icons inside of PowerPoint. Let me demonstrate. So on the insert tab at the top of the screen, and I'm just starting with a blank white slide, no big deal here, right? I can go up here to the top of the screen, and on the Shapes drop-down menu, I can find a variety of different starter shapes. So let's say, for example, that you wanted to create, um, let's say, a wrench. Now, a wrench, to my mind, um, has a, a long handle. On one end, it's rounded, and it has a little hole in it so that you can hang the wrench up. And on the other end, it's got the typical wrench head that you would expect. So if you've got a long handle with a curve at the end, we probably want to go with a rectangle, like this one. And then the curve at the end could just be a circle. So I'll just go up here on the Insert tab and insert a circle. And I'll just hold down my uh, Shift key here to make sure that I'm starting with a, a nice, well-rounded item there, a perfect circle. There we go. We can line those up accordingly. And then maybe we go to insert and we add, uh, what would it be, like a hexagon, something along those lines. Let's see here. Octagon. Let's go with an octagon. Okay. So maybe this will be the wrench head down this way. And of course, wrenches have uh, a notch cut out of them. So I'll go over here to the Insert tab and grab a simple rectangle, and I'll just draw a rectangle where the hole in the wrench would be, something like that. Now the great part is that in PowerPoint now, we have a bunch of different tools for being able to merge shapes together. So for instance, if I click on the hexagon, hold down the Shift key and click on the uh, rectangle that's here, I can go to my Merge Shapes drop-down menu and using the Combine feature or the um, Subtract feature, either one of those will allow me to create basically a hole, right? So I'll go to su uh, Subtract, for example. So now there's a hole cut in the octagon there. Now in the same way, if I hold down Shift and I click on the handle, and I hold down Shift and I click on the rounded um, end here, I can go to Merge Shapes and I can union them. And right there, as you can see, this wrench is one big unit. Now beyond that, I can go up here to the Fill Options and fill it with nothing. And I can go to the Outline Options and fill, uh, let's do an outline in black, like so. And then let's do a nice thick weight of three points, or well, let's go six points. Okay, so black and white, or black and, and nothing, six point thickness on the width, and I can put this over on the side. And again, I'll do the same thing. I'll create, um, let's say, a screwdriver, right? So I can go to Shapes. A screwdriver, in my mind, again, maybe it has a knob on the end. It has a rectangular, actually a cylindrical stem that connects it to the rest of the screwdriver. The handle of the screwdriver would also be basically a rectangle, maybe a bit wider, something along those lines. And then we have um, the little knob at the end, right? So I'll insert another rectangle 
maybe that tall. And another rectangle. Let's go with the same height, right? And then the uh, stem, insert a, another rectangle that's about this long. And then the tip of the screwdriver. Perfect. And then finally, if you just highlight all of these, you can simply use the Merge Shapes option in Union to create your uh, screwdriver. And then again, click on your wrench, click on the Home tab on your Format Painter, and then click on the screwdriver, and the screwdriver has the same aesthetics that the wrench does. I'm going to undo that very quickly here because I want to size this down a little bit to make it match up with the wrench a little bit more closely. Great. And now again, click on the wrench, click on the Format Painter, click on the screwdriver. The screwdriver looks and feels just like the wrench does. It's at this point where you can imagine you're just going and going and going, and then just go to the shape, right-click on that shape, and then go to this Save as Picture option. You can save it as a ping graphic, as a screwdriver. I'll save mine to the desktop here. And go to the wrench and right-click on it save it as a picture, and save this as wrench. And just like that, anywhere you go, you have this graphic that you can insert, right? You could open up a Word document, go into your blank Word document, go to insert a picture, and going over to the desktop, there's your screwdriver and there's your wrench, and you can add the wrench or the screwdriver. You can spin it around, you can Put it wherever you like it to go. You can resize it. It's all up to you. So using your shape tools and the ultimate capacity to merge those shapes together, and then using the right-click feature to be able to save that out as a picture, gives you the ability to create any kind of graphic you want right here natively inside of PowerPoint.